Hello, Julia. Hi. Um, I want. I would like to to. Um, there is a question. Um, I have a question that arised from the last questions. Um, if I touch the mountain, I feel the surface of the stone, but I don't feel that I, as a mountain, am touched by me. So, I. <laughs> You don't feel like the that you the repeat that you don't feel what it's a bit it's if I touch the mountain uh -huh. and I feel the stones yeah yeah I feel the surface of the stone right. but I don't feel my hand touching me as the mountain oh I see so what you're saying is that. He, it's the not, separateness that you don't feel that you are touching you uh, how many yes. how many you are there are, are there two yous two 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 yous how many you is there oh there are many <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's um, in, in your, many in your, facets in of your, myself in your mind, in your mind there, is, there are many you but how many you is there there is only one you right there's only one self one one being. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's only one you. What is this talk about you touching yourself? I don't. I don't. You know. There's only one you. No. It's. 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 It's a bit like last time when we talked. If when I said my perception, hearing you, your cough. I imagine is very different from your experiencing coughing. That's what you're imagining. No, I'm. I'm. Ex I'm sure I know how it feels. If I am, I. I'm coughing. It's. It's completely different. If, as if I only s hear <laughs> someone else. You don't know that. That's a story. You don't know. That. <laughs> you only know your experience. You. You. You have some notions about somebody else's experience. But you don't know that. You only know what you yes. know. Only know what you know. Yeah. Huh. I don't know, yeah. Yeah. There is more you don't know than you know. But you think you know. You say, oh, I, I know my experience is different from your experience. I know... That's, but you, in fact, you don't know. It's more true. It's more true that you don't know than you know. <laughs> you see what I mean? So stick with I don't know. Stick with I don't know. You mean I don't know what you feel and what well, I don't, don't know if what you are feeling is the same that I am feeling? You don't know that there are any differences outside of you imagine that there are differences. Yeah. But in terms of knowing, you really don't know. Because you only know what you know. So you, you, you cannot know something about, quote, unquote, somebody else. No. Out, outside of a narrative. It's a narrative. Yeah. But you have to let go of the narratives because we're not talking about narratives. Narratives are very interesting. There are, you can write a lot of books and novels and, uh, I don't know, you can fill an encyclopedia, a, 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 a whole library with, with narratives, right? I mean, maybe they're already filled. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are, yes. You don't, need to add on. you don't need to add on. You don't need to live according to narratives, except if it amuses you. But I, I don't. No, I, I don't think so. Um, uh, but is perception limited? Well, I mean, no, definitely, because perception is via the senses. Can you? Yeah. Can you see three hundred feet away? You cannot. Can yeah. you? Can you hear a thousand yards away? No, you cannot. No. Yeah. This perception is limited because of the instrument via which perception occurs. The body-mind instrument 
you know, the senses, you know, uh, uh, thoughts. There, there are limitations to the body-mind instrument. Yes, if that's your question, yes. That's obviously. Mm -hmm. So what? I mean, that has nothing to do with you. We're talking about the instrument, the body-mind instrument. You have to know yourself, not as a body-mind instrument. Know yourself as pure being, as presence, as awareness. Because that's, that's more true, that is more reliable than the instrument, which at some point is 10 year old, then it's 15 years old, it changes in puberty and is, you know, all sorts of thoughts and drug experiences and you know, travels and parties and being abandoned, sense of abandonment. And uh, that's the body mind instrument. You have to know yourself not as a body mind instrument but as awareness. The reality which perceives, which is formless, which is not an instrument. You see? Yeah. I, I think... Um... But the reali reality perceives through through the body mind. So, in my case, or not? Of course, it, 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 reality perceives via perceives the world, the, what we call the human experience, via the body mind instrument. But it's not limited to that. How do we know it's limited to that? How do we know that? That reality is, that's all it is, that's all there is to reality is this body mind instrument, or we call it human experience, or the snail's experience, or the rabbit's experience, and that's that. We don't know, we don't know. Reality is non phenomenal, so therefore it's complete freedom. And it's obvious that it is extremely creative <laughs> because here we are. <laughs> there is this, which, this amazing conversation. You know, so it's obviously <laughs> magic, magically creative and powerful. <laughs> but w w why would we impose any <laughs> limitations on its infinite potential just because this body mind instrument is limited to 89 years? No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't question that, that universal awareness is not limitless that's not my that's not what i'm questioning it's not it's what just what are you questioning the, the gap between me perceiving or um through through the limitations of my body mind um and and me perceiving via my body mind i don't know um yes i i just i feel separated so i it's i i don't but it's not a problem it's okay it's not it's just what it is okay well okay look it is what it is true but <laughs> the feeling of separation is not a very happy feeling. Or, you know, so sure, yeah. So <clears throat> let's say that we've been so habituated, we've been so habituated to to be me in the protective mechanism that this this habit of protection has taken over. It's it's now we're we're living in a protective uh, mode. And it makes sense to protect yourself uh, because there are dangers in life. It's about protecting the body, the body mind. But at some point that we need to switch it, we need to realize, okay, the body mind is relatively safe. Okay, we're not in a war zone. You know, we're, we have some income, we have a shelter, have some food in the refrigerator. So at some point, we need to make a switch. 
a constant, a conscious switch to say, okay, the body mind is relatively safe. Okay. Plus, we know that in the long run, the body mind is <laughs> kaput. You know, is is, is yeah. It, it, yeah. Okay, we know that. So that's that's okay. We 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 need to make peace with that. Okay, so that we can relax this exaggerated sense of self-protection which you talk about the sense of separate <laughs> sense of separation we need to work on all right the body mind is relatively safe body mind is going to die we're going to do our best with it we're going to take the medicine have a good diet do some exercise etc as best we can now we can turn our attention to a different question okay what is it to live without carrying this unnecessary sense of protection. So we need to explore. We need to step out. We have to have some courage to step out in the light and explore living as presence, as freedom, as, as being. Each one of us carry our own experiments. We live out of the shell. You know, the snail lives in the shell. Out of the shell. Okay, you're in the shell, but you realize, oh, I can go, I can step out of the shell, explore, step in the sunlight. So enjoy the sunlight, enjoy life, celebrate life, explore. Being a little different, being friendly, being spontaneous, being silly, being fearless, being stupid. It's okay. I'm stupid. It's okay. Explore freedom. Explore your freedom. Because if you're not going to explore your freedom, who's going to do it? Because you already have this habit, we, me, I'm not talking, we have the habit of self-preservation, maintenance, you know, the carapace, the, the, the shell, the, the, the walls, you see? Mm. Right? But you can step out of the walls. You don't need to wait for... You step out. Mm. Yeah. Be playful. Yeah. Yeah. I think I I I lose. I I I couldn't really follow, but it, it's um yeah. Maybe I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> but thank you for for trying to explain it. <laughs> all right, all right. Hi, Magji. Here it's Anna. Okay. So very nice to see you. One Do moment. you see me? Uh, one moment, uh, Anna. Let me see. Uh, yes. H hello, Anna. Yes. Hello. Thank you uh, for being here. Um. When I, I have a little a daughter that used to be little, now she's 27. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went to the country club one day and there was a Harry Potter party. And in the Harry Potter party, they invited a man that hypnotized. And this man came and put the people in stage and told them, now you are in the bus. Now the bus is turning to the right. Then the bus is turning to the left. And everybody was turning their bodies as if it was really happening. <laughs> it was, it, there was lots of kids there. <laughs> and they made jokes like, somebody left a bad smell. Who did it? And everybody <laughs> closed their nose because they really believed that what they were hearing and their senses accepted that belief as real. Well, you know, because I came uh, to, I was blessed to be in your meeting before I started the cancer treatment that uh, it appeared in my experience as Anna here. 
And I went to all those things that they say it's going to be bad. And they told me all these things before I received the chemo and the radiation. And when I went there, I said, okay, I'm here. But that doesn't mean that I have to make a story about it. I am going to enjoy whatever it is, the fact that I had a beautiful room, the fact that I had comfort and all that. Maggi, I never, ever felt anything. I had no pain. I had no discomfort. My experience in the body mind, they wanted to make a study of me. I didn't allow that. But it was all, in, I didn't allow my consciousness to be trapped in any idea. I was in a meeting with you a few weeks before, and we were talking about just being in the present moment and just being present there and not make any narrative about anything. Right. I wanted yeah. to share this because I wanted to share with our uh, friend Julia there Man, as a fact. It's a primitive personal experience, but I thought... I could share. I hope it was okay. It's very good. It's a it's complete freedom in being. You know, being does not know any uh, limitations, any constraints, any worries, any fears. Uh, none of that. None of that. It's complete freedom. In freedom is, means openness, the openness of being. Everything flows through, appears as appears. There is, nothing is disturbed. You're not disturbed. There's no disturbance. If you're not disturbed, the body's not disturbed because the body is it's body mind. It's you know it's, it's you and the body are not two. It's, so when you're not disturbed, the universe is not disturbed. And you as the universe are not disturbed because you are the universe. You know, the, the the universe is you. You are the universe. In fact, we don't know how it affects people having worries and. And anxiety in ten thousand miles away because there are no limitations. It's an open, an open field, borderless field of being, of presence, of love, of joy. Of... Yeah, it's beautiful. It's when we completely uh, surrender all our patterns of, you know, all, all these. Stories, it's narratives, but he was going to happen to you. It, it, it's, we always start with this assumption that we are this more some mortal entity. When we start with this assumption, it's we're it's downhill all the way. You know, you start with 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 you know hitting yourself on the head with a big hammer and going, okay, you know, how do you feel now? No, simply be not knowing, open, 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 not. In time, not concerned and worried. And what joy is there in being concerned and worried? None. No attachment. No attachment. Everything just being. It's like a hamster in a wheel. When we are attached to the ideas we entertain that you call narrative, we are defined and limited by them. And we only experience that because our eyes are not relaxed and open to all there is. And we become like a hamster, always in the same place. No matter what we do, we end up in the same place until we do what you were just saying there. Just let it be. Just let go. So there is this complete acceptance and allowance and there is the understanding about being, the experience of being, and then the openness. So there are things that appear in the mind, in the world. There is understanding about being, that being is not phenomenal, being is universal. And be, be open, be open, undefined. So it's... it's an exploration of m moving in that direction, you know, it's, it's okay. Sometimes it seems to be frustrating. That's fine. That's okay. But we move in the direction. 
the direction of being and openness. All is well. In God's kingdom, all is well. Thank you, you Mike. You are that God. You are that God. You are that reality. You are that love, that compassion, that, that tenderness. God's wisdom is operating through us. We are that wisdom. Okay, Anna. Nice talking with you. Thank you so much because you say that and you leave that so strongly that through the vibration of your voice, it's like it entered through the pores. It's so nice, Magdi. I wish you would meet you one day so you could feel your own self so or the narrative, whatever that. I'm just I'm just a, a fellow, you know, it's a neighbor, a friend. Nothing much. Actually, I hang out with Eric sometimes, you know. And Holger. And go for a walk. <laughs>